All right. Hi, I'm Dante. And I'm Kay. And um, we're both from Community Gearbox, and we're providing an alternative to individual consumption. Despite all the rhetoric we see on the news and social media, more and more Americans want to do their part in taking care of the environment. But simply buying more sustainable products won't save the planet. Um, the real underlying problem is the, amount, and, uh, is the amount that we consume in the first place, especially here in the United States, where our per capita consumption is simply off the charts. If we really want to care for the planet, we're going to need, we're going to, need to advance ways to reduce consumption overall. Fortunately, there are a number of sharing economy solutions on the market that are helping us cut back on our individual consumption, but all of them have the same rub that either limits the quality of goods that you find, pushes the cost of the solution up, or keeps people from even trying it in the first place, and that is stranger danger. All these platforms have the same premise, sharing things with people we don't know. This lack of trust and relationships on these platforms is where we're looking to address is what we're looking to address as a means to further reduce consumption and keep things in circulation. Two years ago, my partner Sally and I were in a pickle. We had planned and prepped everything for this amazing road trip out to the coast. We had everything in place except for one thing, a car. Not wanting to pay for a week's worth of, of rentals, we got on Facebook and made an ask. And we were blown away. An old college, old college classmate we hadn't talked to in years was quick to respond and lent us their van, which we were able to live out of for over a week, which got us thinking, how can we make more moments like this possible? And how can we make this talent, this latent abundance, visible and accessible? So welcome to Community Gearbox. We're building a social inventory app for people and organizations to gather, share, co-own, and care for material resources amongst people they know and trust and we're building our product around exactly that. We believe that for sharing to expand amongst more people, trust and relationships within a community um, is essential. And we believe that starting here will allow more people to be open to behavior change and find the joy and gratification of actually keeping things in circulation. And so the time is now. Growing economic pressures are pushing people to find more cost-effective ways to access goods and care for one another. As the climate crisis escalates, more consumers report being environmentally conscious leading to an emerging appetite for real and meaningful solutions. With that, the sharing economy has matured. Consumers have moved from skepticism to acceptance and are open and dif to different and new ways of keeping things in circulation. Lastly, we see a dispersion of informal sharing efforts across platforms that we believe can be addressed through a formal tool. Taking these factors into consideration, we believe the underlying conditions are in place to bring our product to market. To do this, we are focused on developing our product with two main feature sets using the design framework, come for the tool and stay for the network. Our core tool is a set of inventory management features that help people gather and track items. And what enables the network is a set of social features that help people work together and share amongst each other. This year, we've scheduled three main product releases that will move us towards an initial product market fit in Q1 of 2024. Last year, we released a working prototype and saw 300 people jump on, catalog more than 2,500 items uh, worth over $100,000 and conduct 50 exchanges. We currently have one letter of intent and two community partners. We are in REI's national startup program called Embark, and we have nine students from Berkeley Innovation and UW's Human Centered Design and Engineering program supporting us through the end of the school year. We believe that our tool has the potential to claim a new market, a new product category at the low end of inventory management, enabling people to gather, track, share, and share as a community, in contrast to, to traditional inventory management tools, which are geared towards back-end management amongst a small team. Our total addressable market is the estimated 70% of U.S. consumers who are trying to buy and live sustainable lives. And our waitlist is full of these individuals and homeowners who would like to use it amongst their friends. Based on our interest, based on interest, we believe we'll be able to find early customers and test our products amongst organizations to discover our atomic network and best practices for onboarding communities. With that, we've begun partnering with groups in the climate resiliency space, exploring how our tool can help them asset map and support surge demands after a disaster. And we've also started working with people of color, low income, and queer outdoor organizations where both 
where, at, where gear limits their programming and participation. To start, we're focusing on product market fit and entering Seattle, and then we'll expand and we'll test and expand to other markets across the country. There are a number of alternatives in the market, but none have the features that Community Gearbox has. Instead of trying to convince people to share things with people they don't know, like through rentals, we're focusing our efforts on empowering communities uh, who have a stake in each other's lives. Instead of gathering everything in one place, like a lending library, we're allowing people to build a, dis to build a distributed network of goods and track where things are. And instead of solely helping people give things from one person to another, we're supporting groups of people to gather and pool goods to create collective abundance. We're, we're making it so that communities can not just consume, but also care for material goods together. Our business model is simple. Community Gearbox is free to use for anyone who wants to use it amongst friends and family. We offer a scalable co-op membership to users who would like additional features that can be used individually, or for groups, clubs, and organizations. Further down the line, we'll also provide features such as insurance and coverage for items to be repaired. Lastly, we are already seeing interest and requests for demos from larger organizations, and we look to establish contracts with them. Get that to save time. Our key financial benchmarks are, first paying, are acquiring first paying customers in the next few months when we get the product back in people's hands. Next, we're looking to break even with around 500 co-op memberships and two large contracts. Third, we'd like to reach $1 million in annual revenue with around 5,000 co-op memberships and 12 large contracts. Please help us. We're currently at raising $100,000 to accelerate our product market fit by Q1 of 2024, and we are looking for patient capital, impact investment, grants, and partnerships that can bring support and knowledge in addition to funding. In this time of excess, we deeply believe that we have enough. So please, help us grow the world's largest network of shared and co-owned items by 2030.